Excuse me, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? I have no idea. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, Paulo. So, uh, what is your uh, topic? Yeah. So the you know during my morning jog today, uh, I got into a particular chapter in the current book that I'm listening to, um, and this particular chapter dives into making an impression. Um, one of the topics it explores uh, specifically is to talk and empathize with the, the people you do business with, interact with, have relationships with, because it makes you impersonable. Now, the reason why I brought that was today, actually just today at work, um, uh, I was working with two people. I, I wasn't in, in seven meetings, by the way, but in uh, two of those seven meetings, uh, uh, one of the one of them was my junior. The other one uh, was like an infrastructure guy that works with me. And he said, for some reason, this 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 junior that you have doesn't want to work with you. And I'm like, why? Because every time I, I tell him, hey, you know, we should call Paulo in. He goes, no, 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 no. Don't don't call Paulo. in. he's he's too busy. Don't don't let him uh, help us. But here you are helping us. I, I just don't understand. And that's when I realized, I'm like, man, I really need to start doing this empathetic, you know, talk about their interest stuff. Um, never did I have a need for self-improvement than now <laughs> because it feels like my juniors are scared of me. Uh, I guess where I'm coming with this is, have you guys ever found yourself kind of reflecting and saying, huh, maybe I, I'm not so approachable after all, even though you think you're like a nice guy or a kind guy. You know, ha has there been a moment where that happened to you? Well, it depends on the dynamic, uh, the relationship dynamic. You know, that's a work environment. He's your subordinate, for lack of a better word. So I'm not saying that he should be afraid of you, but you know, you shouldn't be buddy, buddy. Now, if your wife is scared of you or your kids are scared of you or your parents are scared of you, that's a whole di different thing. He shouldn't be scared of you, but... He shouldn't be your friend either. So that's so, never happened to you, Otis? Uh, where I thought people were scared of me or. Or you you uh, found not scared, but they're intimidated or they're you, they find you unapproachable. Like you just found this out, you know, third party. I don't right? think I've ever been described as unapproachable. OK, so I don't know. How about you, Keith or Daniel? I kind of have the tend to have the opposite problem because I am an over sharer um which in the spirit of that like a few different folks i've talked to recently who would have reason to know this have a strong belief that i am on the um autism spectrum at least partially mm -hmm. and that could kind of explain it and so that does i kind of get where Paul is coming from on that, just in the sense that there are times where I just don't quite understand the other person's frame of reference at all. Really the time is for me with like, where that like had problems relating to people in a professional context was when I was on help desk mm -hmm. because I really had the not the worst bedside manner, but a pretty bad bedside manner. I knew what I was talking about, but that lack of like patience for bullshit got me in trouble a couple times. Was it a, like a, a, a tact issue? The way you talk to people or? A tact and a kind of similar to Paulo's topic here, a refusal to empathize. Like if you're being the attitude that would really fluster me are these people who just came at it with like, oh, I don't know computers. I'm so intimidated by this. Just that, so sense, did of you... helpless, that sense of helplessness instilled the opposite of sympathy in me where so I just kind of you. felt like bullying them. You know, some folks would just come at it from this like, aggressive place of helplessness where it just raised my hackles. And I was like, you know, because normally if I 
essentially, if I can rationalize that you're having this problem for a valid reason, my like patience and empathy goes a long way. But if I think you're just being stupid, then it's just like, you have nah, no patience. Just cut that shit out, you have get no it patience. together. <laughs> you got it. He has two different yeah. uh, containers, right? He has like a bucket and a shot glass and whichever right. you kind of like the, you know, the intelligence you show, he, he kind of pulls out the container he's willing to provide. So, okay. And right. I describe myself as I describe myself as something like that too. I mean, as far as being approachable, I've never. I think everybody's always like come to me and say like you're really easy to talk to, and like they just start talking to me about things that they sometimes don't even. They say like I've never even told anybody this. Um, so I I think my wife hates it. Like I can go to Walmart and like just we I I don't know how, but randomly like me and a guy will just start talking and we could talk for like 20, 30 minutes. And she's like, how do you do that? And I'm like, I just, cause you start why? talking tech or anime, uh, you know, I, or cars. You're like, yeah, yeah, let me tell you about this uh, flux <laughs> capacitor that I put in my car. The flux yeah, man. Capacitor. No. <laughs> you can pick so, one of those three and you can probably find a guy, I guess if you had it in sports, you would probably cover like, the whole All game yeah. with like mm-hmm. one of those four. I mean, yeah, I know the rules of most like the games. I think that people like between basketball, soccer, football, uh, baseball, I know the rules and stuff like that. So I could talk a little bit, uh, but um, yeah, no, I, I will say like within the, I've always said like within the first five minutes of talking to me, you'll know that I love anime. There's just, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just how passionate I am about it. So I, I'm not, I don't like kind of close myself off to that. I don't, um uh, get embarrassed by it or something like that but i'll uh, just to go back really to what you were saying daniel yeah like as far as like the the um the containers yeah i have i can have the p- most patience in the world if i find out that if i think fi- like trying to help you and you're trying i see that you're trying you're putting in an effort mm-hmm. but the moment that you just want to say oh no just do it for me i'm like i can't figure it out or i'm not trying i'm not putting in type of effort I, I'm ju- I'll drop right there. I'm like, I don't, you, you're not worth my time. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> well, those are people that need the most help. Yeah, to, yeah, that's where that come becomes a problem. Yeah, those are well, people that need the most help because they no, don't I mean, have the capacity. They, no, I will try and no, I'll try and walk them through. But if, if you're just going to try and say, just do it for me, just I don't want to deal with this or something. I don't deal with that. I, I, I'm trying to help teach you and inform you about this so you won't have the problem next time or you can at least give it a shot but if you just so you're telling me willing, if you're driving down the road and this fine lady with daisy dukes on is standing <laughs> but her car and smoke is coming out you're like excuse me ma'am what seems to be the problem and she's like i have no idea you're like forget you you're big dummy and no you that's no you that, <laughs> not no not in the rate right, not right off the bat but if you're going <laughs> there's nothing like no but if you're just going to like i'm trying to oh my god i'm going to try and teach you i'm going to try right. and help like get you to understand a little bit but the moment that you like if you continuously are like i don't care just get it fixed and be out of like and get it done or i don't want to learn about it or just understand just a small bit of it then i'm just like that emotion like it's just gone so if she gets like, under the hood with you then you're all good but if she gets in her car and starts taking selfies then you're out yeah start saying yeah oh if she starts saying oh i'm, I'm cold <laughs> it's done i'm like no i'm like i'm helping you out you better at least come over here and at least like this is your car right you, be, you know be i understand i understand that yeah later